Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this video where I'm gonna go over some tools that we can use to create camera movements for our videos. The first tool that I'm gonna look at is handheld. You can create great camera movements just by using your hands. It is called a handheld look and it's very common even in Hollywood movies, especially on fight scenes, to show the intensity of the fights. If you are just starting up as a filmmaker, you can still create smooth camera movements just using your hands. One way is by walking steadily with your camera in your hands or by putting the camera strap around your neck, tightening it and using it to absorb your movement. If your camera is very small, it will mean that it will be very shaky so you can get a cheap rig for it so that you can have good grip. Or put it slightly on a bigger rig so that you can have smooth handheld shots. Second tool that we're going to look at is the tripod. Tripods are mainly used for static shots and I use them a lot especially when I'm doing talk shows or when I'm doing live streaming or just any other project that requires us to focus on the person talking like this video right now, I'm using a tripod. Even on broadcasting studios, they use tripods a lot. And yes, that's me. I was being interviewed on the national TV. However, you can still create camera movements with the tripod by panning to the right or left or tilting up or down if your tripod has a good fluid head. All right, number three, let's look at the slider. Sliders allow you to move the camera horizontally left or right or forward and back. It is very good for smooth controlled movements and I use sliders mostly for product videos or b-roll clips. Before I even bought some of the stabilizers that I have now, a slider was my first tool to introduce camera movements in my videos. I have done music videos on a slider especially for really slow, smooth shots. Even when I'm shooting interviews, I will lock one or two cameras on the tripod for medium or close-up shots and use a third camera with a wide lens on the slider just so that I can add a bit of movement to the interview. There are many different types of sliders that you can get. The one I have been using is the cheapest mechanical slider that you can get around $40. Motorized sliders are even the best, like the Rhino sliders which Parker uses in his videos. You can control the movement electronically and you can repeat the same movement again and again. Next, let's move on to gimbals and stabilizers. Gimbals and stabilizers are my favorite tools for creating movement in my videos. There are two versions of stabilizers. We have motorized stabilizers like the Ronin M and Ronin S and many others which use electric motors to balance the camera. Then number two, we have the Glidecam and Steadicams, which use weights to balance the camera. Both the Glidecam and the Gimbal work on the same principle, to absorb the camera operator's movements and make the shots smooth and controlled. And just to add on top, both a Glidecam and electronic Gimbals are special in so many ways. I own both types and I use them according to the project I'm doing. If I'm doing run and gun type of shoots like events, videos, where there is so much movement, I normally use a glide cam because it's more like an extension of your natural arm. You can make quick turns on the go. I also use it on music videos sometimes, especially on those music videos that have got sharp movements or fast movements in them, as well as on some wedding videos as well, I use a glide cam. However, it takes a lot of time to learn how to use a glide cam properly. And it is not as smooth as electronic gimbals can be like the Ronin M, Ronin S, and all these other electronic gimbals that are out there where the electric motors do all the stabilization for you. I use electric gimbals on projects like when I'm doing real estate videos where I want the shots to be very smooth. And I use electric gimbals as well on music videos for the most part. About 60% of my videos, I use electric gimbals because they are more smooth and easy to use. And moving on to the drones, Drones are among the best tools that can create movements in your videos, especially for aerial videography. There are different types of drones available on the market, but I only use drones from DJI. I have the Mavic Mini, a Mavic Air, Mavic Pro Platinum, and a Phantom 4. There isn't so much different in their quality. I just use them depending on the place I'm going to shoot in. Some places need small drones like the Mavic Mini, while other places are free, I can even use my Phantom 4. I use drones when I'm shooting landscapes, real estate videos, or track subject on water like the speedboats where I can't go with the normal camera. I also use drones a lot when it comes to wedding videos or when I want to show a larger structures like the stadium from above. Then we have other tools for creating camera movements like the dolly system, cable cams, jeeps, car mount rigs, and so on. However, these are for big 
budget productions. So you can start small and work your way up.